Hi guys, quick um, bargain store project here, or at least the start of one. I bought these Owl solar lights in Poundland. Um, bought this one first, had it for a little while, sits in my window. Lights come on when it gets dark, solar panel on the back. Got a little um, switch on there for switching it on and off. I like that idea because it's all in one sort of piece that if I take it apart I can actually have that on top of a solar car or something like that and I can switch it on and off quite easily. So I like that. And that one works absolutely fine. So I went back and bought a couple more. This one here and it's incredibly intermittent whether it works or not. Sometimes the lights come on, sometimes they don't. I've left it all day in the sun and it's not working, so I don't know what's wrong with that one. It's the same with this one, only this one I've now taken apart. So, <coughs> it's not much in there. As I say, there's the, the solar panel was there, switch is there. I like this, got a little um, connector for connecting onto the switch, so that's handy for all sorts of little projects to have one of them. Got a little solar panel, a couple of LEDs, and unusually there's no black blob that there usually is on these sort of little circuits, it's actually a standalone little circuit, or integrated circuit. It's a BY5252F whatever that may be. It's got four legs on it. Got a little inductor there and battery to store the power. So during the day solar panel charges up the battery and then at night it lights up these two LEDs using a dual thief circuit. But again this one worked intermittently and I can't get it to work at all at the moment. So I've no idea what's going on there. I've checked the LEDs and I can't actually get the LEDs to light even if I go directly across them, which I would expect to happen. Well, I've got to say I'm quite surprised by this. I replaced the battery with a capacitor first of all because I, th I thought that was the most likely problem. And didn't make any difference. So I took the LEDs off and the LEDs don't work. I <laughs> can't believe that. They, they sort of flickered a little bit initially. But um, they don't work. So <laughs> I've put an ordinary one of my LEDs on there. So if I just put that over the light for a second, just to charge up that capacitor that I put on there. There you go. So the capacitor now discharges. If I hold the battery on there and charge it, So, it's the LEDs that are faulty. I, I've never had faulty LEDs like that. Can't imagine why they're faulty. So I'll put that battery back on there. Take my capacitor off. And I should have a little charging circuit that I can use. So I'll put it back together again. Put the little um, rechargeable battery back on there. Still got my little green LED on there. So I'll hold it in front of my light for a little while. Cover over the lamp, uh, the solar cell I mean, and there you go. 
So that was the problem. Duff LEDs. Very unexpected. I really can't remember the last time I've had some 40 LEDs on a solar light. Well, never, I think, is the answer. So very surprised about that. Maybe they overheated them or something when they soldered them in. Because they look look a bit odd. Look like they're tilted in a bit. So maybe that's what happened. Maybe they overheated them when they soldered them soldered the legs on. But he looks quite happy now. Bit of power for a few seconds. There we go. Oh, sorry, that's out of out of camera shot. <laughs> Not a very good demonstration. Do that again. I'll just cover it over. There we go. So we learn something every day. Well, that other owl had exactly the same problem. The LEDs were no good. So just for a bit of fun, I've swapped them out for red LEDs. You can't really see that's red, can you? There we go. So now I should put them back in the owl. Reassembled. So this poor little chap still has nothing. That's the green one. The original one still got his white lights and as you can see there this one now has red LEDs. There we go. Oh, that's a bit bright. So in summary, it looks like we had a bit of a duff batch. The first one was fine, but the second two had got duff LEDs. I can only imagine, as I say, they were overheated when they were soldered or something. So, anyway, I'm happy.